At the Mohammed Barash Space Center, I think the next uh, milestone project for us is the launch of uh, Khalifa Sat. So this will be taking place in uh, October of this year. And obviously this is uh, the first satellite that was entirely designed and developed and built here in the UAE. So it was assembled in our clean rooms in Dubai and uh, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid named it after the President of the UAE, which I think is quite symbolic. So this is really our first domestically made satellite. That's happening this year. We also have next year the launch of uh, Dubai Municipality Satellite, which will be uh, really the first satellite that has been uh, contracted by another government department to us as a center to build and develop for them. So that shows you the maturity of space technologies and the usage of space technologies today. Not to forget, of course, the Emirates Mars mission, which will be launched in 2020. And that'll be the uh, Arab world and the Muslim world's first mission to the Red Planet. Actually, the first mission out of Earth orbit. And that's a big milestone because that's significant in terms of science and in terms of engineering. And all of these projects, we have about 200 people, engineers, who are working on them day and night. And we're quite proud of that uh, achievement. Looking at the last 50 or 60 years of uh, space development, it has been predominantly government-led and government-funded. Uh, but today we see commercial players coming into the, uh, the market and taking a very strong role. Examples of that would be SpaceX and uh, other entities. So looking at a company like SpaceX, Blue Origin, Boeing, who would eventually be providing commercial contracts to countries such as the UAE to launch astronauts and to launch space satellites, uh, that's uh, something new, something that hasn't been happening for, a very long, for, for very long, and I'm quite excited about that. When you look at uh, space in general, if I focus specifically on our organization, we started with international collaboration. So, you know, you, you're not going to reinvent the wheel and start from scratch and try and do things your own way. You're going to be collaborating and working with international partners, and you're going to try to develop and build from there. So a summit such as uh, this summit, I think, brings all of the different players, whether they're small, medium, large, in one venue where you can basically network, uh, talk, and, and fix those international collaborations for the future and try and build up from there. So for us as a center, it's very important to come here, you know, cement uh, existing and uh, old collaborations, and also look at starting new uh, collaborations for the future.